in this particular session we will start with the android framework architecture so let's get started the android framework architecture we will discuss this particular image here which again start with your lower level so android is completely linux based operating system so again it consists of your linux kernel which was mainly responsible for your low level operations and also consists of your drivers and your assemblers which will simply convert your data for the applic for the machine language at the end we got different drivers for like let's say we got display drivers out there we got camera drivers out there we got bluetooth drivers out there flash memory and other different drivers were also here one major part of the kernel was the binder we also call it ipc that again stands for your interprocess communication so that your multiple applications can interact with each other right one one more thing so that your multiple application components also can interact with each other right let's say you are you want to share some image file from your gallery to whatsapp right then your gallery will simply send a message to the whatsapp that i want to send this file right that particular message sharing part was handled or was managed by this binder driver out there on top of this linux kernel we got the libraries here that were mainly used to handle different types of data let's say if i talk about the simple display part these three major libraries like surface manager opengl es and your sgl these three major libraries were used to render your 2d 3d graphics and display them on your main mobile screen right and to make it more interactive to collect your input from the touch screen part they also use these libraries other than these your graphics libraries we use some media framework to play your mp3 mp4 any kind of media file load your images as well we use this media file formats media framework library you can say then we got three types which was mainly used to handle or to render your different fonts in your android device for the font part we use free type library for any kind of cryptographic functions for your encryption for your hashing for your like digital certificate verification part to store the or to update the key store kind of thing again any kind of cryptographic functions we will use our sgl library right for the sql database we always use sqlite library out there like to store data to execute data to update data any kind of operations we use sqlite library for sql database operations then we use webkit libraries to render your web pages like your html web pages your php and your javascript we mainly use this webkit out there right webkit library you can say then we also use libc library out there which was mainly used to handle or to like process your native application which were mainly written in low level languages like c c++ and other, other different languages out there so for the c part we got this libc here on top of these libraries we got this android runtime art art consists of two major components first one was your core libraries core libraries part consists of your java and the kotlin libraries all the like need all the necessary java and the kotlin libraries will be stored here not under your libraries part java and kotlin libraries will be stored under art out there other than this core libraries we also got this virtual machines all of your applications runs on a virtual machine they have their own separate sandbox environment whenever you install a application your android device will simply create a virtual machine for that particular application and that virtual machine was generally known as delvic virtual machine it was also known as android runtime nowadays it was also known as android runtime but in older days we call it delvic virtual machine dvm in short so these are two major components of your android runtime or art we also call it on top of this android runtime or the art we got the application framework that consists of android apis right it consists of different apis to manage your screens to manage your windows to manage your databases part to manage your different buttons what the view elements out there to manage your notifications to manage your xmpp services to manage your locations to manage your different resources like storage media files of your camera and your mic and other different resources were there to manage your telephonic calls sms and your mms part as well and to manage your different applications we got again different apis so that your developer can directly call these managers to make the operations easier or to write the application in a much faster way 
on top of all these managers we got our application or you can say we got our apps that we have installed like your instagram your facebook your twitter your whatsapp your linkedin whatever application you are using and again not only for the user installed application also for your system applications as well like your contacts home phone browser settings whatever application you are using all those application works on top of your application framework that's all let's give it a quick review kernel mainly consists of your drivers your assemblers and to manage your low level operations libraries were mainly used to handle different types of data type then on top of libraries we got the android runtime or the art art consists of two major components your core libraries for java as well as kotlin second thing was dalvik virtual machine that again manage or create a virtual machine for each and every application that comes with the android device or you have installed it manually on top of android runtime we got application framework application framework consists of apis that were written by android developers which help an application developer to make the application easier or to short the code you can say developer just have to call those apis and his work will be done on top of all these application framework we got the application all the apps you have installed all the games you have used all these things work here on top of your application framework so that's all under your android architecture framework stay connected and have a good day